Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan and on this channel you'll find financial, travel and more videos. If you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Thank you. Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. Today I'll have another episode of unboxing video and I'll be presenting the Romos 5000 MAH power bank. So the main feature of this power bank which attracted me buying this power bank is the a built-in switch cable feature so basically uh, the cable is attached to the power bank which we'll be uh, seeing uh, shortly and then uh, also the uh, power bank includes a lightning uh, adapter to uh, convert the ch uh, cable to uh, Apple compatible devices so it's not just a uh, you know, regular USB-C so let's uh, start unboxing and then we'll uh, look at all the features and just a small disclosure that uh, this is not a paid or affiliated review. I purchased this with my own money and all my reviews are non-affiliated, honest and unbiased. So if you haven't subscribed already, this is the time to subscribe now because there will be more videos coming up and on this channel I do actually a variety of videos. So I do mainly uh, travel videos, unboxing videos, credit card videos, videos on points and uh, miles so I, I do a, a different type I do different types of videos so if that interests you definitely subscribe because uh, there will be a lot more videos coming up from different angles so let's start with this uh, Rumos uh, power adapter so we're going to uh, take a look at the packaging so this looks like uh, it has a smart charging and then uh, it can charge almost anything including iPhone, iPod, iPod Touch and then uh, the designing should be very lightweight and uh, compact and let's uh, open it up and so this is a Q series power bank uh, 5000 mAh is the power and uh, let's uh, open it so I'm hoping to open this without using any scissor or anything Actually, uh, I hate uh, the way the you know manufacturers package things because it's very difficult to take them out. So they haven't come up with any easy solution for this. So anytime you're opening something, it's always a struggle. Okay, so let's see how far we can go with this without using a scissor or knife or anything. Okay, so the first thing I'm noticing here, so there's a cable and uh, this looks like uh, USB-C so I'll just uh, put it here and then I see there's a card so let me see what is this one okay so it looks like you have to activate uh, this card for warranty and let's see if they tell you what type of warranty they're giving no it doesn't say actually anything here so this this is the website to activate this card and then I'll just uh, put it aside here. Okay, so the box is empty. I'll set it aside. And this is the actual uh, power bank. So the first thing I'm noticing that it, the designing is very cute and it, it feels very good to hold in hand. And uh, it kind of looks like a small cell phone very lightweight uh, you wouldn't feel uh, actually any weight and let's take a look if there's some information on here okay so just giving you telling you that the model number the capacity is 5000 mAh and it's 18.5 watt and 3.7 volt and input here is uh, so they're giving you the input output information as well so let's look at the actual uh, cable so the way it works this one is attached to here and I'll try to take this out of uh, here and see how we can do that okay so if you just push it up a little bit and then see it comes out and then you can just you know uh, charge your device or put it on your device and then once you need to 
put it back then I believe you have to just you know pull it this way and then here it just uh, sits in its place so the problem with this is that see there is something like you know hanging out uh, a piece of the cable maybe you can use it to hang it this way but I don't think that's the real purpose but this is kind of uh, you know I believe this is not a good designing because of this because you know this is not just a flat way uh, it's going inside so it's like you know small portion is coming out and then so another problem I can see that you know when you are putting this inside inside the slot and then if you want to take it out so it's kind of like you know you have to stick your nail or something inside it to take it out it's not coming out easy this way see it's not that like you know flexible so you have to just do a little bit of maneuvering to take it out and then when you put it into a cable I mean a USB-C uh, adapter or USB-C then you can just push it in and then you know the light I can see that the light is on okay so it looks like it has some charge already because uh, my another uh, power bank uh, is showing only uh, one bar so it looks like you know it was pre-charged so that one and also here is showing like you know three bars are active so it looks like uh, there's a little bit charge let me take this out okay so once I want to put it back then it just sits that way okay so except this flaw in designing uh, the actual product looks good uh, you know it looks very uh, cute and very lightweight so I like like that and then it's very nice to hold in hand and then in terms of traveling this should do the job because you know you're uh, you can easily carry it with you because it's very lightweight but this one might cause a problem in your bag or whenever you're putting it in your pocket it might interfere with other stuff so that's something to uh, note of but except that uh, you know it's not uh, a bad product uh, and given the fact that this is not too expensive and also I had bought it on sale so and also the thing is uh, this one is uh, you know smart charge so it charges your device up to what charge it needs then it should supposed to turn it up by itself so it's not doesn't get overcharged so overall uh, this is uh, you know this everything looks okay I'm not going to be needing this piece but if you have Apple products then definitely you know you don't need to buy a separate adapter or you don't need to buy anything else you can just use this but uh, the another uh, problem I can see that if you're if you have Apple stuff then looks like there's no way you can like you know put it inside here so this is the only thing is uh, built-in so this one is not built-in so this is just a loose uh, cable so you have to just use it to uh, charge your Apple stuff if you want to use this with the uh, Apple uh, products then actually the adapter is uh, hidden inside here and you have to attach that part with this part so the way it works here so this end uh, I believe this is not going to go inside Apple products directly so what you have to do you have to just you know push this uh, push it this way so okay so if you push it through push it all the way and just pull it up then this one comes out and this looks like the end which is go inside Apple product so this is the actual tiny adapter and this is the like you know kind of adapter extension that makes this product uh, product uh, work with Apple so that's that's how it looks like it was designed but if you don't have any anything Apple then this one just uh, sits here 
this way and then you can just push it in a little bit and then it just stays there so if you are non-apple then you don't have to even carry this one and you can just use the whole thing so that's all for now if you like what you see please give it a thumbs up and subscribe uh, there will be more videos coming up so i'll see you shortly thank you